calculus. Okay, I know this is a reading calculus problem because it's only asking us to match each expression with its units. Expression? What are we talking about? I thought those were variables. Yes, yeah, so you can call them variables, you can call them expressions. These are all um, being called expressions right here. So let's let's just read the problem, make sense of every number, and then um, get on with our lives, shall we? We shall. Okay, so. Uh, one base of a trapezoid, ooh, trapezoid, I know what a trapezoid looks like. That's a common trapezoid. One base, we'll call this one base of one, of a trapezoid is decreasing at a rate of, ooh, we got another rate. Okay, let's let's put boxes around rates and we'll circle our numbers, shall we? We shall. Notice that B sub one is a, um, it's a function. Um, means this number keeps changing and the only way you know what that number is is if you know the value of T. Okay, so it says that um, the rate, so I'm going to say dB over dt um, is 8. 8 kilometers per second. And it tells you right here the, the units, which is nice. The height, which is this guy right here, here's your h of t. The height of the trapezoid is increasing. Oh, it's increasing. Ooh, increasing. I almost forgot that for the other rate. It says decreasing. You know what decreasing means? It means it's negative. Okay, so then um, the dh dt is increasing at 5 kilometers per second. Okay, so we identified two numbers so far. Let's keep rolling. At a certain instant, t naught, okay, instead of giving us a number, they're giving us t, t sub zero, which you can say t naught. The decreasing base, that's, that's this guy, the decreasing base, is 12 kilometers. Notice this says, just says kilometers. I mean, it's not a rate, and it doesn't even say rate. Um, so we're going to say uh, b sub 1, when we plug t naught into it, at a certain point in time, um, the length is 12 kilometers. All right, so we identified another number. So we have three expressions or three um, equations and three numbers. Oh, the height is uh, two kilometers. So now we have another one. The height at t naught is two kilometers. The area of the trapezoid, ooh, area came out of nowhere. The area of the trapezoid is fixed. So it's not changing. It does not have a rate of change. The area, let's just use A of the trapezoid, is always going to be, it doesn't even matter what the T is. So I'm just going to say A equals 16 kilometers squared. What is the rate of change? Ooh, I see the word rate. What is the, oh, there's another word rate. What is the rate of change of the length of B sub 2, which is the other base? So we got the other base right here, B sub 2, and we can, that's also a function of T. It wants to know db sub 2 dt. What is the rate um, of the other base of the trapezoid at that instant? Okay, so at when t equals t naught. Now, I like writing my rates like Leibniz notation. Um, another way you could have written this is b sub 2 prime uh, t naught, which maybe you would like better, maybe not. I kind of like the craziness of that. Okay, um, all right, so that's that's the question. Uh, and we could answer this. We do have enough um, information to answer this, but we don't have to answer it. We just have to identify the rates or the, the, the units of all the stuff. Okay. So the first one is dB sub 2 of dt. So that's, that's this guy right here. What would the rate be or what would the units be of this rate? Now we know um, that we have kilometers and we know that it would be per second because that's what the other guy is. He is kilometers per second. This one would also be kilometers per second. We know that uh, this is in kilometers right now. And so the rate would be kilometers per second. So that's going to be that guy. And then we have the height. Uh, now they write h prime. I would write dh dt. And we already have those units right there. So I'm going to select that. And then we have um, this b sub 1, uh, oh, b sub 1 prime. <laughs> this guy is kind of like this guy. It's kind of annoying that this problem is switching between Leibniz and Newton notation because these are essentially the same. So b prime would be the same as this guy right here. So that's also kilometers per second. All right, cool. Wow, they're all the same. Um, 
they didn't say anything about the area. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Let's say it was also asking you, what is DA DT? What would that one be? Now, what would the, the units of A be? Kilometers squared, right, right, right. Because it's kilometers squared, when you take the derivative of the area, that would be kilometers squared per second. Is it second? Is seconds? Yeah, seconds. So that would be this guy right here. Kilometers squared per second. This when when you see the square, that's for areas. Okay. Um, all right, and we identified all the other units, and uh, cool. That's it.